Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, today I am using again my Ying and Yang Ying layer. Actually I've ordered at Mold and Shapes uh, a new set of in layers because they also have an awesome mandala in layer just with the rounds. I had it but um, I did something wrong and then they were well, it burst. I pulled too hard because I needed to get it out. My fault and lesson learned. Anyway, I um, paintbrushed um, this in layer for the inside, the yin and yang. I used the Twinkling Silver Star. This Lightly dark, darker one, sorry, is the Black Magic. Um, for the purple, it's these here. And also around, I used the Purple Passion. And last but not least, um, I have this green. It's a seaweed, also from Petra Jungblut. Um, and this one I want to use for my outside layer, the screen, because I thought it might give it a good contrast. I'm not putting any sparkle in there, I just go with the green. Um, yeah, as I said, the in layer and also this mold, um, it's a 50 millimeter tray mold. They are both from Mold and Shapes, my resin. I just measured um, 160 grams. It's the Art Pro from Resin Pro, which I'm always using. I think it's an awesome resin. I need my sticks and I need my little heat gun. And maybe also the alcohol. Hang on. It's here. I guess I give it a Quick. Spray. Sorry, um, I should. Yeah, I still haven't bought something else. <laughs> it's in there, and there you go. Anyway, so let me get some of the seaweed out. Should have maybe put this in before. But let me go with a stick like this. Put this aside. And give it a stir. Um, these micas I'm using, um, yeah, as I said, they come from Petra Jungblut. <sighs> I was, I, I don't know where I was. My, someone tried to phone me again and, um, yeah, my camera went off. Good, I checked before pouring. Um, well, anyway, um, yeah, I guess this is pretty opaque and I can just pour. This is the seaweed. I hope, um, one, let me just close the lid and I show you again because I really don't know how far the video went. Um, it's annoying. Sea wheat from Petra Jungblut. Um, yeah, Ex actually she has a um, very, very nice um, pouring group on Facebook. So maybe you want to join her. You just pour this slowly in. You always need to make sure that your in layer is really stuck to the mold. I hope I did the right 
color decision with my green. I really love these um, sort of trays with the inlayer, with the night, nice patterns. It's very, very beautiful. This actually is not very spectacular what you are seeing now, but It needs to be done. It's always good to have a nice contrast to your actually painting. So let me see how far I am. Yeah, I guess I can still go a little bit further. Filled up to the top. This is good measure, Petra. <laughs> Let me get the rest out. Like so. This green is awesome. It's very, very nice and dark green. Like it. And I hope I didn't um, paint too much mica into my mold. Spray some more of the isoprofil alcohol on top to pop some bubbles and okie dokie. I love and leave you for now and tomorrow is a great unmolding. Stay tuned. <laughs> See you then. Bye bye. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm back. And first I'm having a sip of coffee. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so um, this green is really very dark. Over here, there came a little bit of mica up, so... I guess I used a tiny inch bit too much, but let's get into unmolding. I'm very curious as um, the silver colors, they were really, really shiny and I really liked it. Let me just pop this. Yeah, see, I, I really need to clean my mold. I need to wash it. I came mica and stuff under underneath here. So we just try to get the grip and take off the inlayer. Seems like I have not much overfloating, maybe a tiny tiny incy bit, like here which you can easily peel off. And here, put this aside. And not to tear, um, don't, don't tear your um, inlayer too hard out of the mold. Otherwise it will really break. So this is my inlayer. I have to wash this also because the colors are in there, but wow, I'm very happy. <laughs> you have not seen it yet. It's here. What do you think? I'm really happy with the colors. Um, I must admit, I, I was a little bit critical with putting the purple outside, but because I thought, ah, maybe you don't see it with the green, with the dark green. But it's it's looking awesome. Really like this a lot. And yeah, like here, maybe you can see it. I have a tiny bit what was left in there. Well, this happens. Not sure what it is. Just fell in there. But beside of this, what do you think? What do you think of the colors? 
I really like it. It's again a nice sort of candle holder or just another decoration piece. I'm very, very happy with the color scheme. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I love and leave you and I pop up a picture afterwards. See you for my next video. Bye bye.